The first release of the new iOS 26 is finally here. Apple has finally released the first beta of iOS 26.1 as we have been expecting it to happen of course within the week of the initial release of iOS 26. So in today's video we're going to talk about this update and I will show you guys everything you need to know about iOS 26.1 beta 1. Now as a start I have to tell you guys that there is actually not a lot to talk about this update. Initially once I have it installed on my device I cannot seem to find a lot of new features and changes. But of course there are a few but we're going to talk about those in a minute here. First of all let's take a look at the size of the update a 0.1 update at around 14 gigs. It's actually really, really large and it will come to your devices at around this size. Of course, it will be different on different devices, but expect it to be around 13 to 15 gigabytes, which is really big. Now, what's different here is, of course, the new build number 23B5044i is the new build number for the new iOS 26 beta 1. Now, as far as new features go, again, there's not a lot to talk about. Now, I might be wrong, but in my perception, the liquid glass effect on this beta is actually a bit like more vibrant. It has like more of a reflection. Again, I might be wrong because I basically cannot tell exactly if that is happening or not. But taking a look at some of the elements of the UI right here, it looks like it's a bit more reflective than the previous iOS 26. Now, new changes here. Apple intelligence now will work with Dutch and also an Apple Watch bug that was causing the Wi-Fi to turn off when trying to actually unlock the Apple Watch with the iPhone using Face ID that actually has been fixed. It has been reported by users that it has been fixed. And that's about it until now for this beta. I told you guys there is not a lot to talk about here. Hopefully we'll be able to discover new features in the upcoming days and hopefully battery and also performance will be great. At least if we don't have new features, we want those to be great. Now, should you update or not, I suggest that you don't update for now. If you're on iOS 26, don't update. There is no reason unless there is great battery life, which will be reported, of course, in the next few days, then you can go ahead and update. So what you should do again, not update, stay on iOS 26. As far as future updates goes, we we'll most likely will see iOS 26. 6.0.1 being released either tomorrow or on Wednesday. This update has actually been confirmed now. It has been worked on and it should be released very, very soon. So I think that's the update you should actually install on your device and not iOS 26.1. So that's basically it for this video, guys. A very big update in numbers, but actually not a lot of new features and changes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next one.